Hey what's up guys so welcome back to another video on trade now and of course for this video we're back with another trading strategy video and a lot of you guys enjoyed the last one with swing trading so I'm going to bring back another more style trading style instead of scalping and let me explain the difference between trading and scalping so trading you're usually taking bigger trades on higher time frames and for scalping you usually try to aim for small movements and a lot of the times both of them are very similar at the lower time frames but for this strategy it's more towards the trading side you guys can use the 5 minute time frame use the 15 minute time frame basically anything above the 5 minute you guys can use it but for this strategy and for this video specifically I'm going to be using the 5 minute time frame but of course, before we start this video, I would really appreciate you guys give me a like and subscribe button and also to check out the link in the description box below. So if you guys want to sign up for our FedEx account, so I'm going to show you guys the exchange. So FedEx is where I trade on personally. So if you guys see this, this is the exchange that I trade on and you guys want to have a bonus. Basically, you sign up and you make a deposit, you can earn up to $600. And obviously the most important thing is that the fees are super low so you want to see the fee level if you guys sign up with the link you get free VIP one which is 0.019% maker fee and that is amazing so anyways let's get right into this video so I'm going to bring you guys the sh indicators that you'll be using so the past few videos my favorite indicator has been the house suite and honestly it has been helping a lot in identifying the trends in this style markets but obviously you need to change certain things so you're going to change the length to 60 and the length multiplier to 3 and it helps smoothen out the curve as you guys can see it helps to tell when it's down up down up it's pretty accurate if you say so if i say so myself and next up we're going to be using the as you can see from the title trend trader so we search up trend trader strategy so you want to use this and not the trend trader you can see by H Potter, there's a trend trader, but you want to use the one that is called trend trader strategy. And for this, you just want to change the color. I'm going to change it to white in color. So as you guys can see, it highlights the bar and helps you to tell when it is going down or when it is going up, which is similar to the house suite. So let me start off the video by showing you guys how to take long positions then follow on by short positions and what type of markets you guys want to avoid and what is a very strong signal so first up for you to take a long position same rules apply price must be above the house suite and the house suite must be green in color next up there must be a break above the trend trader strategy basically the trend trader must be above the price must be above the trend trader strategy line and the switch must be from a red to green so what do I mean from here? You can see that all the candles here are red and then it turns to green. Same thing here, red to green. But when that happens, the price must be breaking above. So I'm going to show you guys a perfect example right here. So this is not cherry picked or anything. I'm just going to find later. I'm going to find random trades and show you guys that it works in all types of places and not only the positions that I picked. So here is your perfect entry because what do we see here? You see that price is above the house suite and house suite is green in color. You can see that the price is clearly above the trend trader strategy when it's breaking above and we have the change from red to green and that is the perfect signal. Stop loss, you can put it below the candle, the candle wick and you aim for 1.5 is to 1. So there we go, perfect trade right there and uh, this is not a... Uh, you can, as you guys can see the candles are actual price data and a lot of people like to use the Hiken Ashi candles which basically smoothens everything out and what's bad about that is you're not actually using real price data so right here you can see that although it looks like it's Hiken Ashi it just helps you to color the red color bars to be green to tell you that it's still in an uptrend so it's indeed real price data so let's look for another signal so right here we have another signal here you can see that we have the house suite being green in color and the price is above the house suite next up we have a break above we have the change from red to green and the break above the trend trader strategy price closed above the trend trader strategy so there is a signal to go long right there stop loss below the recent swing low right right here 
where the recent swing low is and you take a 1.5 is to 1 and another winning trade as you guys can see I'm going to look for another trade here would be a unfortunate loss so we look here you can see that we have the trade price above house suite but we put our stop loss there and aim for 1.5 is to 1 it fulfills all our conditions but unfortunately it is a loss but obviously with a risk reward ratio of 1.5 is to 1 you just need a 50% win rate and you'll become profitable so although this is a loss we managed to have two wins which isn't too bad so I'm going to show you guys how to enter short positions now and basically it's the same thing but everything else you just flip it opposite so let's start so for the house suite price must be below the house suite and the house suite must be red in color next up there must be a change from the green to the red color candle and the candle must be below the trend trader strategy and here is what we have right here you enter on that stop loss right above the recent swing high and you aim for 1.5 is to 1 and just nice we got wicked on that very nice entry here we have the same thing you see that price is below the house suite house suite is red in color and price is below the trend trader strategy changing from green to red stop loss right above and you aim for 1.5 is to 1 and you will end exit on that position right there let's look here we have another entry stop loss right above 1.5 is to 1 but unfortunately we'll be stopped out there but also you guys can cancel your trade halfway if it turns to green usually you want it to become red but personally i'll just let the trade run it doesn't really matter sometimes it turns from red to green and then it pushes back down so it's very hard to know when to exit and when to uh basically stop the trade but obviously for me a lot of the times if you guys have to decide in the middle of the trade you guys might be influenced by other factors and honestly it might just make your results worse so just stick with the trade and just let the trade move so yeah that is basically how you take short and long positions and as you guys can see it has been pre pretty profitable so far of six trades that we've taken we've managed to have a 66% win rate basically four trades won and two trades lost but with a risk reward ratio of 1.5 to 1 that is pretty amazing so yeah i'm going to show you guys what type of trades that you guys should avoid and basically it is areas like this basically this areas you can see that or rather let me zoom in more this areas right here you can see that it's going up down up down up down and a lot of times this is a ranging market and you really don't know where the price is going so you guys really want to just be trying to look for this try ranging markets clearly going down or clearly going up and these trendy markets are where the trendy shit the trend trader strategy works the best and yeah that is how you guys will be able to know when to trade and when to not trade so anyways thank you guys for this video and watching this video basically so hope you guys enjoy it make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and to check out my other videos as well so thank you guys for watching and goodbye